Hello, welcome to TechSharmit. From this session, we will start with SEO. And the first thing we will cover uh, for SEO is change to session default. So for that, I have created one program here. So I, I will uh, show you that program and then we will uh, see the change to session default one by one. Okay, so uh, for demonstration, I'm using this program, test PGN program. Now I will have open this program into edit mode. And now to go to the change to session default screen, you have to press shift F1. So once you press shift F1 here, it will uh, take you to this screen where you will see the change session defaults. Okay. So there are multiple options. Uh, we can change or modify for easing our development process. So we will see this one by one. So first option we can change here is amount to role. So to change to uh, uh, the position of cursor or to change the uh, functionality of uh, page up or page down, we can use this option. So by default, uh, it is set either on, uh, by default it will uh, set on half, that is edge. So now I will tell you like what exactly it means, the amount to roll. So whenever in the program, if I take page uh, if I pay, uh, press the page down button, then it will show me from uh, line number 12 to 18. And if I uh, do the page up again, then it will show me the entire code. So what exactly uh, we are seeing here, like it will uh, page up and page down the record in half of portion. Okay. Now, suppose if I change this uh, H to F, then what happens we will see so just uh, press enter and now page up uh, press the page down button so we can see that it page down the entire page and just page up again so we can see that uh, whenever we press page up or page down it uh, moves the entire source code or we can say that it moves the full source code instead of half and half of portion so either we can set it to the half uh, we can uh, replace the f with h uh, to roll the page uh, half of otherwise we can set it to full okay and the third option we have is c that is cursor so if i uh, replace the f with c then what will happen now suppose if i wanted to page up the page up or page down the screen from the line number eight so what i will do i will just uh, click here on line number eight and then press page down so it will show me the code from line number eight because my cursor is on eighth position and if i uh, do the page up here so it will also uh, page up the code uh, from the line number eight so usually we uh, go with this option because it is uh, quite friendly with uh, for the developers to page up and page on the things from the cursor position now again i will press shift f1 to go to the same screen and we can also um, select the option d that will uh, page up and page down the content from as per the data so whatever the data uh, present in this screen it will page up and page down the data uh, pointer from as per the data so now we can also set the uh, particular numbers let's say here i have set the record amount to roll as three so now if i do the page page down here so it will page, uh, page down the record from line number three and three three uh, in a three three way like it will increment the page of page on from third value so now it is uh, came to the sixth then nine then twelve and then 15 so in this way if i do page up then it will go 12 9 6 3 and 1 so in this way we can set the uh, value as well for page up and page down so uh, for now we are setting it uh, as a c for the cursor so usually wherever uh, this cursor option now we will see the second option the second option is uppercase input only so for now it is set as n so what it means suppose if i wanted to write something here let's say display command dsplby so here i can write in small case and uppercase 
uh, as per my need but if i uh, if we want to restrict the user to write the input only in the upper case then we can use this option so just press shift f1 again and then set the upper case input as y so now if i write anything it will be come as a uppercase only my caps lock is off but still it is uh, allowing me to write the in uppercase only so this is the use of this uh, uppercase input only so for now i am setting it as a no another option is tab zone so let's say tab zone is n means it is no okay so what it uh, why we need this tab zone suppose my uh, cursor is on line number 15 if i press enter here so my cursor will not move because it is fixed on line number 15 but i wanted to shift this uh, cursor on every whenever i press enter to the next line then for that reason we can change this tab zone to y so now i have set this to y now if i press enter it will move to the next line so this is how we can set the point uh, tabs by setting it to the y so if you wanted to move your cursor on e each and every entered key then you can set it as a y okay. and another option is insert of uh, increment of insert record so for now it is set as one so what it means if i insert any line here okay so it, it will increment it by one so here is 19 if i insert again and it is 20 19 plus 1 20 so now i wanted to insert the line but with the increment of 5 so what i will do i will go with the shift f1 again and then i will change this increment value to 5 and enter now if i insert any record here then it will be sequenced as a 25th because now it is incrementing the value by 5 if i insert again then it will 30. So this is uh, this is how we can uh, increment the set the increment of in line insertion or sequence number so just go back again to the change to session defaults by pressing shift f1 and for now i am setting it as a one another option is uh, full screen mode so if i set it as a full screen mode then it will show me the full screen if i set it as as a full screen mode as a no then it will no, not show me the entire screen and so this is mainly for the screen mode like full is if you wanted to go with the full screen then just make it as a y otherwise set it as a no another option is screen size so uh, usually we have two options for the screen size one is 27 into 132 and another one is 24 into 80 so if i set this option to 2 then my screen will look like this and if i change this to 1 then it will show me the entire code for the 27 132 this is how we can change the screen size as well another option is source type so if you wanted to change your uh, source type then you can change from here but for now we are uh, writing the rpgle code that's why i have uh, written it as a rpgle another option is a syntax checking so if i make this as a no okay now press enter and suppose i have uh, i'm writing one command for display and if i write something here let's say share and i forgot to write the semicolon after this and press enter so it will accept and but it will not get compiled for that we have to check the again the spool file then it will tell us okay so here we forgot to add the semicolon but if you want to save your time so what we can do we can enable the syntax checking uh, while adding or modifying the code so it will uh, tell us whenever we press enter it will tell us okay so in, in this line we skip the semicolon so i will show you just press uh, shift f1 again then set the syntax checking as y and press enter so now i will again write the same thing display share math colon and press enter here i am not using the uh, semicolon here so just enter so 
we can see that there is a one message an operand was expected but was not found that is semicolon specification is ignored so this is how uh, we can make use of syntax checking while adding or modifying the records okay so it help us to save our time in for checking the spool file it mainly instruct us whenever there is a syntax error it will populate that message whatever the error message is generated it will show us and we can also set the line number if if we wanted to check uh, only for first 10 line syntax so we can set it as a 1 to 10 then it will check only for the first to 10 line first 10 lines uh, syntax so for now i'm making it as a no and the another option is set record to date so here we can see that whenever we write any code or uh, we can set any date here so for now it is set as a 15th of april 2022 so if i wanted to set it as for today's date so what i will do i will set it as 22 that is year and month four and the date so today's date is 12th so i will set it as a 12 so it is changed to the 12th date so this is how we can set the date uh, of line uh, whenever we change the line of particular program then it will show me the current date of for that particular line but we can also make it as a fix uh, let's say if we only want to uh, print the to current date or whatever the date we have completed that program so we can change it as per our need and for initial version we can set it as a zero zero and zero so it will change all the date to the zero so this is how we can use uh, the change session defaults in the upcoming session uh, we will see another uh, we will cover another topic related to the related to the seu so that's all for this session thank you for watching